Alright guys, I'm just talking about my findings in the DMC files, the DLCs, and really not much. It's pretty barren, not gonna lie. So, I remember when I did my original video, or original if you believe Ninja Theory, uh, that'll, I'll talk about that later. Um, I remember when I did my original, people were like, dude, look at the DLCs, dude, because they'll have some interesting stuff. Not really, is the short answer to that. They don't. Uh, they're pretty barren. Uh, which is a real shame, because I wanted to see what they did, but no. So, essentially what happened is there's very few things that really matter. But, there is some pretty good stuff. Hopefully. So let's start with the cosmetics. Uh, the only thing that's weird in the cosmetics is that original Dante is called original Dante in the pack file, which, which is really weird. Uh, I don't know if that's to stop a naming conflict, but I can't see why. Unless they were dumb and put an original Dante in the main game, but then called that Dante original as well. That's the only thing I can think of. But at the same time, why would you still call that DLC pack original Dante? Surely you would call it DLC uh, original Dante, or something pertaining to the fact it's a DLC. I just don't get that. But... They called it Original Dante. So... It's still stupid, regardless of the reason. <laughs> like, it's still really stupid. Uh, what next? That's only, that's all I found in the cosmetics, by the way. Uh... Bloody Palace. Oh boy. That, I'm gonna save that for last. Cause oh boy, that's good. Um, Virgil's Downfall. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, the shop editing returns because you can edit the shop. So you can make everything dirt cheap. You can add entries into it, so you can have more than the set amount of items to buy. You can increase the limit on the items you can buy, so... You can buy a shitload of items for dirt cheap, you can increase the limits. I don't know why you'd want to do that. But you can also increase the maximum limit, so you hopefully have more, at least that's the idea. That's the idea right up until you get hit, and then your health kind of reverts to normal again, I believe. But, yeah. That's something to do. I mean, for people that like to cheat in games, you don't really need a trainer for this game. Like, you can just get all the upgrades right off the bat from editing these values. Uh, you can edit the enemy drop values so that they can drop a thousand orbs per kill or something ridiculous like that. You can up the chance of spawn rates for certain items uh, from enemies. Uh, basically the standard stuff that you could do in the original game too. So, it was a... It, Virgil's downfall was kind of a bust. Uh, you could probably take the Virgil initializations. <sighs> Sorry, my nose is all kinds of blocked today. But you could probably take the Virgil initializations, so it's a player character, and put it into the main game files. Now, I haven't tested this, but I assume it wouldn't work. But it's worth a try. So I'll I'll try it. I'll gladly try it. But you could probably just copy paste the initializations from the DLC to the main game and then have Virgil basically doing Dante stuff <laughs> because I doubt you could move the uh, the actual combat as well and if you could it would probably break it uh, you know you could also do just a simple reskin 
So, you know, but I want to try that. So, I'll try that. Oh. Like I said, this is just my initial findings. So, uh, what next? Bloody Palace. Oh my god. No, wait. Credits. So, in the INI file, you have credits. The max credit line for Virgil's Downfall is 1,803. And it has a start point and the maximum. So, make the start point 802. It'll start on line 802 and skip all the credits. <laughs> Which is kind of funny. But... It, Really inconsequential, but it's kind of funny. Bloody Palace. Oh boy. Bloody Palace has the potential to get really broken really quickly. Uh, my idea could either break it horribly, or work. There's really no in-between. <laughs> so, basically each level of the Bloody Palace is initialized in this file. So it says floor 1 is these enemies at this amount, floor 2, floor 3, and so on, for 101 levels. However, what would happen if I took out level, let's say level 2? all the way to 100 and we skipped right to 102 or 101 what if I could load custom levels what if instead of having one Virgil I could have two Pretty interesting things you can do with Bloody Palace. So, let's say you find out how to modify the game to add UPK files that get that can that the game will actually play. You could make custom Bloody Palace levels with your own stuff. Now, this is all theory. I haven't been able to test it because I need to beat the game. But the possibilities are pretty, pretty interesting. Uh, now, is this ever going to happen? Probably not. But if I can put custom floors, uh, custom amounts of enemies, or just skip Bloody Palace entirely, that'll be really interesting. Uh, and modders will be able to go to town a little more easily. So, it, Bloody Palace is the most interesting DLC file-wise. Everything else is pretty standard or stupid. So, yeah, Bloody Palace turned out to be a real winner here. Oh, yeah. And you can change the values for what gets you a certain rank. So, Floor 101, I believe, is an instant S rank. Triple S rank, right? A certain time is an instant triple S rank. A certain this is a triple S. A certain this is a triple S. A, turn, a certain that is a triple S. Or S or A or D or B. So you can change those score values, because they are set in stone. So you can change those as well. So it may even be possible to set it to where you you die on a single floor, you get triple S. You know? Like, you don't have to beat the DLC to get triple S. You just die on the first, or you beat the first floor, die on the second one, you've got triple S. Like, every, anything is possible at this point. But, yeah, all of this I need to test. Wow. All of this I need to test once I've beaten the game. But it kind of makes me hype to beat the game. 
to test this stuff out because this stuff is interesting to me so who knows and no the innie files will not let me unlock bloody palace that has to be set with a trigger inside the save data which is unfortunate but yeah so pretty interesting stuff mostly boring though unless you think of bloody palace Seriously, though, Bloody Palace, dude. The most interesting shit that I have found for the DLC is... Holy damn. So... Uh... So, yeah. I mean... There is an alternative. If someone has beaten the game and has Bloody Palace, I could send them the file. Like, that's... That's a possibility. Then they just tell me what happens... But I want to test for myself, I think. So, yeah. <laughs> Thank you all for watching, and I'm out. DMC has been fully explored by my by my wondering eyes. Except the UPK files, because they're a bunch of shit. <laughs> uh, oh, by the way, one last thing. The patch to fix the glitches? Yeah. I can't reverse those. Uh, those are done in the UPKs. So that's unfortunate. From what I've seen, there's no differences. It's literally in the UPK files that they've been fixed. So that kind of sucks. But anyway, I'm out. See y'all later. I'm out. Bye. Fuck this game.